Fedora vs Nobara. Which Linux distribution is right for you? Let's first start with the introduction. Welcome to our comparison of Fedora and Nobara Linux distributions. If you are wondering which one to choose, either for gaming, content creation or everyday use, this video will break it down for you. We'll dive into what makes each distribution unique, their key differences and some important factors to consider. All in a way that's easy to follow. Let's get started. So what is Fedora? Fedora is a well-known community-driven Linux distribution backed by Red Hat. It's famous for being on the cutting edge, often testing new features that might later show up in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Fedora is a go-to choice for developers, system administrators, and anyone who values stability, security, and open source software. However, it comes with a minimal setup out of the box, meaning you will need to add extra packages, codecs, and driver yourself after installation. Now, what is Nobara? Nobara, on the other hand, is a customized version of Fedora, built with gamers, streamers, and content creators in mind. It's developed by Thomas Crider, aka Glorious Eggroll, the mastermind behind Proton GE, a tool for running Windows games on Linux. Nobara takes Fedora's solid foundation and adds pre installed softwares and tweaks to make it ready for multimedia and gaming right from the start, offering a more user friendly experience. Now, key differences between Fedora and Nobara. Let's first start with the out-of-the-box experience. First, the Fedora. You get a clean, minimal install. Want to game or edit videos, you'll need to manually install third-party packages, multimedia codecs, and graphics drivers like NVIDIA or AMD. This can be a bit tricky if you're new to Linux or just want to jump right in. Nobara. It's designed to save your time. Novara comes packed with extra like Wine and Proton for running Windows games, OBS Studios for streaming, and Codecs for playing all your media files. It even auto install NVIDIA drivers, making setup a breeze. Perfect for beginners or anyone who values convenience. Now, Security Framework Fedora uses SE Linux a robust security system. It's incredibly powerful but can be complex to manage, especially you're not a security pro. Novara swaps SE Linux for App Armor, which is simpler and less intrusive. It's a more approachable option for users who want security without the steep learning curve. Now, custom patches and optimizations. First, the Fedora. Sticks to upstream packages, reliable and well tested, but it might not have the latest fixes or performance tweaks for specific tasks. Novara adds custom patches to some packages, which can squish bugs or boost performance for things like gaming and video editing. These tweaks give Novara an edge for certain use cases. Now, Gaming and Multimedia Focus First, the Fedora It can handle gaming and multimedia, but you will need to set it up yourself. Think installing Steam, Wine or Codex from scratch. Now, Nobara Built for this stuff, it includes tools like Steam, Lutris and OBS Studios right out of the box plus optimization for Wine and Proton. It also supports Flatpak and extra repositories for easy access to proprietary software. Now, things to consider. First, the community and support. Fedora, with a huge community and Red Hat's backing, you got tons of documentations, forums, and even professional support. It's a rock solid for long-term reliability. 
now nobara run by a smaller team mostly thomas creeder it has a tighter knit community while it leverages fedora's ecosystem nobara specific help might be harder to find which could matter if you run into unique issues security features fedora supports secure boot a feature that ensures only trusted software run on your system a big plus for security focused users now nobara requires disabling secure boot because of its custom kernel if security is a top priority this might give you a pause customization and control first the fedora its minimal approach lets you build your system exactly how you want it installing only what you need now nobara comes with lot of pre-installed software that's great for convenience but it might feel cluttered if you like a lean setup now performance first the fedora with some effort you can tweak it to match nobara's gaming or multimedia performance it's flexible but takes no how now nobara offers better performance out of the box especially for gaming thanks to its optimizations some users notice a difference without an extra work so which one should you pick go with nobara if you are a gamer streamer or a content creator who wants a linux system that's ready to roll with minimal setup nobara pre installed tools and drivers make it a fantastic choice for convenience and ease of use choose fedora if you love a minimal customizable system and don't mind rolling up your sleeves to configure it it's also ideal if you prioritize security features like secure boot or need to support of a big established community since nobara is based on fedora you can still tap into fedora's awesome resource either way but for nobara specific quirks you lean on its smaller yet dedicated community now finally the conclusion so fedora or nobara it boils down to what you need nobara shines with its out of the box setup for gaming and multimedia while fedora offers a classic linux experience with top notch stability and control whether you want convenience or customization both are powerful options in the linux world what do you think fedora or nobara or something let us know in the comments that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out